Okay, so I'm going to write on the board just like how it'll look on the test. It'll say AMP access uh, period action points. Yep. The internet is hearing you say that, right? Yeah. Shift. And um, uh, sign starts up. Okay, so what I'm hoping for you guys as the class is that you're starting to get sick of these questions and questions. I'm hoping that these are, you're, you got these down. I want this tomorrow on your test to be like 8 out of 8 for everybody. That's I really, really want this for people. So, you know, the word problems in the algebra is a little bit trickier there for that. Okay. So, Sam, up first, can you give me one of those six pieces of information, please? Amplitude is 3, very good. And that comes from, again, uh, that's your A value. Aaron, can I get another piece of information, please? Access one, good. Desiree, can I get another piece of information, please? Desiree, can I get another piece of information, please? Yeah. Very good. And again, we don't use the period too much for the graph, but again, we get to the algebra in a few minutes, we'll have to do that a lot. Okay. All right, Cassie, something else, please. Very good. And again, just a reminder for people, um, what the action points again are used for are for every horizontal x value where the points going to go down here. George, you're getting this down, right? Good. Okay, phase shift or something else. Haley, what else do I know, please? Yeah, okay. Now again, it's a plus 45. So we're going to call this 45 degrees left. Remember, just like when you're doing transformations, everything inside the bracket is the opposite. So it says 45, it's 45 degrees shift to the left. All right. Sherilyn, you're up. Sign starts where, please? One, okay? Which happens to be your axis. I'm going to put one in bracket axis. Okay, so I'm going to take a great amount of time right now making sure we graph this one properly. Okay, on your test uh, tomorrow, oops, it's fine yet. On your test uh, tomorrow, um, I want you to take care on this. Like, this is going to be a big question. Um, so I want to make sure that, whoops, oh, goodness, what's that? There we go. Uh, I want to make sure that, whoops, oh, where are we here? Uh, I want to make sure that, uh, you, again, you guys do a really, really good job on these graphs and make them nice and neat and that they're, uh, they're nice and clear there. Okay, so here we go, line, line, line. Line graph, graph, yes, sir. Hey, you want to see the pictures of my dead squirrel and partridge? Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay. You know, Luke, your mother will be listening to this uh, video even back then. Okay, here we go. Uh, Jake. Probably right. Jake. First thing that I'm going to put on this graph is what? The axis. The axis sounds good. So I'm going to just go here. Uh, zero. Oops. Try again. Oh, goodness. So yeah, our axis we're going to put on there first. Again, which is going to be at one. So I'm going to just draw a few little lines here. So there's zero. Uh, there's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. And again, I didn't say here state to remain in range. We're going to do that at the end because I guarantee you'll be asked that tomorrow. Okay, there's theta. There is. Okay, good. So you said the axis will be equal to uh, 1. So we'll do that first. And again, please remember when you guys do this, once you do it, if you sort of show good form on these, it's really, really easy uh, to get the information there. All right, Victoria, you're next. All right, Victoria, you're next. What else do I put on there after the axis? Um, Very good. Okay, so I'm going to go up to four. Okay, so that's going to be your max, and then negative two. So again, if you're sitting at home or um, in the back of this class, and you say, okay, where do those come from? OK, 
Okay, so remember the, the axis is your middle. Then you're just going to go up three to get to your max, down three to get to your middle. Okay, um, Shelby, what comes next? Very good. Okay, so I'm just going to put a zero and do negative 45 there, kind of call 45 there, 90, 135, 180. Um, if you want to, and it's probably easier. Um, to count sort of every two is 90, so every one is 45. It's hard to get the numbers in there, so I just counted every two. Taylor. Okay. okay, I need you to get this tomorrow. So what comes next? You can do this. Put your points down. Good. Excellent. Somebody want to help me out? Okay, somebody want to help here? Sam, go ahead. Good. Yeah, negative 45. Very good. Because again, remember the shift is to the left. So I'm just going to put a little, oh goodness. Power of technology. Okay. Fine. I'm going to put this right here. Okay, so there's going to be the starting point left and right. Yeah, go ahead. No, because yes, you would. Okay, good question here. So Luke says, Luke, sort of what it marks as he should be. He says, Mr. Sadler, if I started negative 45 and I left to the left, would I lose marks? And I said, yeah. Why is he incorrect in this case going on the left? So he did this, and he just started graphing to the side. Georgie, what's that? Well, that's OK. The action point's positive. That's fine. Why else? Yeah, I have to graph from 0 to 360, right? So because I'm graphing from 0 to 360, you can't just do that on the left-hand side. Right? What you can do, though, Luke, is give me my first point. What's my first point at? Very good. All right, Alex, next point, please. Zero four. Georgie, what comes next, please? Forty five and one, I hope you said in some last part. No, what comes next, please? Sorry? I was uh, I was like I was right back. I just found 45 and 1. Oh. Yeah, 90 and negative 2. Because now we're just going to form a wave here, right? All right, Emily, what comes next? Yeah, 135 and 1, good. Go next. Kayla, what comes next? Cody, what comes next? Uh, go ahead. What's that? Okay. And I'll just finish up here, okay? And then 315 and 360. And again, you can keep on going, but I need to speak from uh, 0 to 360. Now, the other thing that people did on their quizzes and the assignments there, they got things a little bit mixed up on people's title here, too. Um, y plus 3 sine 2, uh, theta plus 45, plus 1. Other thing that people did too when they graphed to the left, the problem was when you graph to your left, that's fine, but if you go up, that's not right. Okay, right? Because like if you're moving left to right, again, you're starting at the axis, you're going to the max. If you're going this way, you know, down to your minimum. Okay, so on the assignment, it worked out fine because I used cosine. So you could go to the left and that worked out. But again, if you're using science, the weights don't just came off of it. Um, see a lot of blank stairs. Monday morning. Okay. I'm going to hit pause here right now and then we're going to talk about on the test. We'll come back for more questions. Probably not like doing that. Because that was your homework. And you should have done that for, you should have done an hour of it on. Well, the fact, let me pause here.